As I entered the cafe, the thin man stood up. I sat down, he pushed a coffee over to me. He said, you're late. I said, it's usually pronounced latte. <laughs> He'd obviously read my file, he knew all my weak spots, he began with my fear of heights. Six foot four, five eleven, ten feet three yards, he bellowed. <laughs> now that's better, the first time you laughed, the second time you didn't laugh, you obviously realised that what I was doing was making bad jokes. <laughs> and you realised it was your responsibility as a comedy audience not to laugh at them. Uh, because all I was doing, I wasn't really taking jokes at all, I was just doing one sentence which appeared to set up a situation and then another sentence, which made you think that actually I conned you with the first one. And the situation was completely different. <laughs> but in a hilarious manner. Uh, and it's this sort of joke which, um, which provides us with the very worst joke ever written. The very worst joke ever written was I woke up this morning and I felt a right tit. <laughs> and then I leant over and felt a left tit. <laughs> and again, you see you're laughing again. I thought you'd learn, you obviously haven't. <laughs> I think it's really important that if anyone gets on this stage, be they the lowliest contestant or last year's winner, even if this is his entire act, you must not laugh at it. You must get rid of it. You must say, don't come onto this stage because your sentence construction is brilliant and it does guarantee you the, the, the ownership of the Chortle Student Comedy Champion of the Year, but it's not good enough. We want something more. Um, other types of joke you're not allowed to laugh at are Tim Vine jokes. I don't know you know who Tim Vine is. He's a popular British comedian. Uh, I'm usually quite wary about satirising other comedians, just in case one of my well-aimed barbs knocks their career off the rails. <laughs> but um, I don't remind the Tim Vine because if that does happen, you can always go back to presenting Newsnight. Um, so this is an example of Tim Vine joke. It's not actually a Tim Vine joke. That would be stealing. This is uh, a sort of Tim Vine joke. Um, I went to the park today. Uh, that play park. Bits of it were smashed up. I said to the park keeper, Bits of your park are smashed up. He said, swing. I said, bits of your park are smashed up. <laughs> not funny at all. It's completely improbable. If I said to you, your bits of your park are smashed up, you wouldn't say swing. But then maybe fuck isn't the sort of punchline which appeals to Tim Vine's cultural affairs obsessed audience. <laughs>